Hello everybody and welcome back to another co-op with Mr. Crimstick. Hello, 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 hello. I'm trying to figure out where the heck I am. I am on the North Lake within touching distance of our old base in Warzone. So there you go. I am in Birch Tree Forest. <laughs> so, yep, pretty decent. Uh, some oh, grub trees. Okay. Because it's kind of uh, where we wanted to build. So, well, the, the secret base location is not far from there. So. <laughs> All right. So, as our viewers do not know yet, we like to have reasonings and ideas and challenges behind our gameplay. Do you want to describe kind of what's going on here? I can try. Okay. Um, well, then I can interrupt well, we, rudely we've... when you mess up. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Ooh, great. Um, we've given a lot of thought to uh, how. I've just found a cotton seed. Do you believe it? What? Are you serious? <laughs> cotton seed. <laughs> yeah. It's March. Um, it was in a crate. Uh, in a oh. container. Oh, for oh my goodness. Cool. All right. You know what? Confusing. Confusing. So, yeah, we've given a lot of thought to how we could make another series uh, in any way to compete with the last series that we did, which I thought was just so much fun. It was unbelievable. Um, so what we've decided to do is, um, well, what Crimstick's decided to do, and he seems to have dragged me into it at the same time, we're going to play a 12-day year. Yes, I said 12. Which means every day we play the game is going to be a new month. Oh, come here, chicken. Oh. Um, that's going to make life rather interesting because it's not going to give us much time to get anything ready. So we're not going to be dressed for winter. <laughs> we're going to freeze. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so we're going to do a slightly different design of the base this time. And I won't reveal where it's going to be until later on tonight when we meet up and set up our little camp. Uh, but hopefully you'll find it's interesting and a little bit different and unusual. Um, and we have to bear in mind that each month is actually a day. So it can't be anything huge or fantastic. It's just going to be a base. So that said, I've got a long way to go because I'm right up by the North Lake and we need to be by the South Lake. So I'm going to let Crimstick uh, talk to you for a bit while I chop some wood. Uh, okay, I am talking to you for a bit while he chops some wood. So, um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, really, really excited about it, though, because I haven't really seen too many YouTubers doing the 12 day per year. So I was like, all right, I mean, normal mode in itself can be challenging, but coming from hardcore, it's just lots of loot and stuff. So to find the best ways on making challenging for everybody, this is definitely a very, very cool way. Um, yeah, really excited about this and hoping that we can make it through it. Now, we don't really have an end game thing because with Warzone, once we BCU cracked all three hunters, that was kind of our goal. Uh, I guess our goal this time is just going to be to survive and hope we can survive. And if we can't, I am totally blaming Mozo because this is his idea, even though he said it was mine. Totally his. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's good to see you back, man. Uh, uh, I haven't seen you in a while and, and good gaming yeah, with you. It's and been a while. It's going to be a lot of fun. I have... Um... I've made a bit of a mistake here as I've started the game with the sound set to my desktop speakers. So I'm just very quickly going to have to reload my game uh, because if you change the sound in-game, okay. yeah, it, it, it doesn't swap through. it over. Yeah. So if you guys can just bear with me for one minute, I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, so then I'm going to talk to you while he is being back. I guess if that makes sense. Not really. Uh, okay, so the first thing, uh, we've got a canteen. All right, there's a chicken and a rabbit. Let's go ahead and turn all these. So I need one more because I really want to make the bow first so I can start getting cloth. Uh, but I need a ton of fiber. And protein's definitely going to start hurting here soon. I want to get to the valley because there's so much good stuff in the valley. But what we were kind of thinking, too, was hunters are set to normal. So they're going to attack, they're going to revenge, do all that stuff, but we don't have to do like we did where they, we have to revenge their attacks or anything. This is mainly just a survival perspective from 12 days a year. And with that being said, yeah, we're going to have to literally every episode go out to try and find loot, go out to try and find cotton seeds when the fall and 
winter come along. I mean, it, it's it's have to be a lot of really getting lucky with a lot of the loot and the hunter spawns because <laughs> I have no idea where they're going to spawn. And it is a little concerning to think about that. Because if you can have the perfect base set up, everything's great, and then the hunter spawns in like a terrible location, well then everything you just planned for is not going to work. Uh, but I do have the six I'm, cordage. I'm back, by the way. Hi, welcome back. I am, I am back. We can be back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Where did I hear that from? I think it was like on TBS or uh, something like that. Got me on that one. Oh, that chicken don't want to be caught. Um, yes, so as we were saying, the I've actually tried a single player playthrough on a 12 day year and it is incredibly hard, which is why I ended up doing my first series on a 24 day year uh, in the hope that I would be able to get enough stuff to survive the winter. But the big advantage is, okay, you don't have much time to get the things you need, but then the winter doesn't last very long. You know, like <laughs> every day is a month. Before you know it, the winter's over and it's spring again. Yeah. So it it's, has pluses and minuses. We'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. Now, the cool thing is I actually found a cotton seed myself. Ah, so I okay. think this game is like, hey, I see what you're doing. We're going to help you out a little bit, and then we're not going to help you at all. Uh, I wouldn't build your hopes up on any help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game wants to destroy you and eat you all from the start. From day one, this game is after you. Yes. All right, so lots more fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. And I need to find chickens because I need feathers. Oh, one more piece of scrap. Hey, there's a moose. Wow, tons of fibers. Uh, have you got anything to throw at a moose? I had an arrow, but I do not have anything at the moment. <laughs> I really wish you could throw your axe. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, no, throwing axes are not a thing. Ooh, all right, there's a cloth I mean, in the, there. the way you go at things with, with axes, I've got to build one to dual wield them, you know, there's one in each hand. I, dude, I would have a far, uh, my toolbar full of axes just to throw and have one to hang on to. <laughs> wow, two arrows in that. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, game. That was actually pretty helpful. Now, unfortunately... Uh, I don't want to say too much about where the base location's at, but y'all are going to find out anyway in the end of the episode. But it's not anywhere near water. So that's kind of another challenge, is we're not going to be on a massive lake where we can just step outside and go fishing or get water. Um, so there is a bit of a it's distance to a body away. of water. Yeah, uh, but It will require a little bit of logistical um, design work, I think. Uh, the crazy I, I... thing is, like, in the wintertime, it's... <laughs> if... if Oh, I, I don't even want to think about it, having to go get water. I think we're going to have to, like, really st yes, stock up on canteens and definitely go that route uh, for canteens. That's, that's going to be a thing. Definitely a thing. Now, unfortunately... Well, neither of us have ever built in this location before, so it's going to be interesting to see what the challenges are. Uh, one of the more immediate things that I thought about was... Oh, okay. Nick up a black bear on my way. Oh, that's um, not good? Yeah, one of the more immediate things was, uh, like, there's not really any ground there. So, ooh, animals everywhere. Um, yeah, if there's no water near us and we can't put down a drill, um, that might be interesting. Yeah. We'll see. All will be revealed. If I could... Figure out where that black bear went. Uh, now oh, I've lost the bag. Where did that go? Hmm. Okay, it's gone. And that's not a bag, that's a wolf. Yep, I just killed my first wolf. <clears throat> 
Okay, that's the two livered wolf, dude. <laughs> it is a two livered wolf. You kill him with? Uh, some arrows. I was hoping to get oh, cloth. Okay, yeah. I'm really wanting to push for a shotgun right away, but uh, you're ahead of me then. Well, unfortunately, I mean, you had that log out and stuff like that, so it's it's to be expected. Yeah, it's okay. And making a bow now, and then we'll make some arrows. That, and I got really lucky in one of the ammo containers, there were two arrows. That was a very nice find. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I do have a shotgun shell. Hey, thank you for saving that for me. Uh and no, I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I need to go wash my hands. Uh, bad things happen when we give Crimstick presents. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I have memories. I have memories of the last <laughs> bit of the last episode of the last series. Oh, goodness. That was so great. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge oh. will be had. Uh, no, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, yeah. just getting a little bit yeah. of wood. I don't want to chop around too much for wood, but that I, that's a chicken. Yeah. So we're going to scare the chicken over this way. Alright, I don't want the bear coming after me, so now we're going to walk. Oh, okay, I didn't want him coming after me like that. Ah, now I see that ammo bag again. Yeah, I see one to my right. But this chicken, because I need your feathers. Ooh. Running makes a ton of noise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to run because um, my left uh, little finger is very lazy and uh, just keeps hanging on the shift button. So <laughs> yeah. That's my my excuse, I'm sticking to it. I mean, it's a good spot for the pinky finger. Because <laughs> shift, I mean, in, in a lot of open games and stuff like that, open world games, shift is the way to run. Sometimes you got to hold it down, so you got to get comfortable with the pinky finger. And every time I, like, uh, do something risky, like, uh, I don't know, electrical work or hammering something, I'm always cautious of my gaming fingers. I, I cannot let anything happen to them. <laughs> I have, I have insurance yeah, on my fingers. Yeah, that would be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, that would be a disaster. Um, give me a couple more. One more, anyway. Right. Have bow, have arrows, have wolf. Nice. Uh, wolf. All right, so do you want to craft want to the fire starter kit, or should I? Or does it not matter too much, because... Um... Oh. I've got everything I need, so I can do that, yep. Because I kind of want to, I need to start eating something, but I don't want to go to our base location and to, for that, because uh, I don't want to spoil it to the very end. Oh, uh, no, you're cool if, if you need to. Uh... Oh, so I'm still up on the saddle, so I'm going to be a while getting there. So... Ah. Oh, jeez, the arrows, man. That is beautiful. Uh, you don't have to have a lockpick on you, do you? Uh, no, actually, I had to get rid of it, unfortunately. <laughs> my you ran out of space in the yeah, inventory, my inventory so you, you was... have to ditch the lockpick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not it's that valuable. Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it weighs a ton, so it, it just weighed me down. Well, it's got 89 fragments in it, so it's, it's going to be heavy. That's true. That is one thing I am glad to say that does not exist in this game is a weight capacity. Yes. Yeah, that'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Spend all day running around looking for a lock crate, filling up your inventory with loot. Finally find a lock crate, and then you can't carry it because it's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and you got like 10 open spaces. Like, wait a minute here. All right, I think I'm going to have to get a campfire going just to get some of this meat cooked up and my water. Yep. So I need to get by a source of water. So we're going to run down this way. And it is looking about noonish. So the day is about half done. Uh, 
Well, the month is half done, you mean. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, that's <laughs> true. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. I, I've never played it on 12, day, uh, 12 days per year, so it's very, very curious. Like the <gasps> the quickest just... fortnight in living history has just flown by. Oh, that ammo crate's gone. Oh. All right, that's not very cool. Uh, All right, so what do I need for this? I need two sticks, uh, three, and a biofuel. Oh, I have two. That's nice. Yeah, if you if I'm in I'm in a valley, so if you come, <gasps> did that one disappear too? Oh, you <laughs> game really? There's a builder container that I lost and an ammo container. And I am so proud of myself, dude. I'm calling them containers. Yeah, I spotted that. Yes. It took a lot of nights of uh, time and effort trying to keep it G-rated here. still bags to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. Uh, I got that. So we need a campfire and fire starter kit. Forever be a, a loot bag, even if it's a box. <laughs> and oh i do have that and, and a blueberry so i have a moose for you if you want one no no i'm totally good all right oh there's a rogue hang on let me see if i can hit him from here oh be careful that dude might have a shotgun oh oh he made me bleed <laughs> what <laughs> what is going on here man It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. There. All right. <laughs> Jumping all around. I can't hit you. All right. Well, I got to get Maybe some health bleed. back now. Well, good, because I have 20 health now, and I'm bleeding still. <laughs> 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 oh goodness good to have you back dude oh my goodness um, right, I need... i'm just i'm pleased the rogue stood still long enough for me to shoot I... him that range. <laughs> well, i was looking through my inventory i'm like okay uh i really don't think he's gonna shoot at me but yeah i totally did i told you there's some payback due <laughs> <laughs> oh that's true i should have expected that i'm just trying to get some <laughs> fire or some wood so i can get stuff cooked up and two so i need one more of those all right so i got water beautiful get those livers all nice and cooked oh the joys of tree grinding oh yes yeah. almost my cat's time to eat so i was gonna say you can't beat it but actually that's precisely what we're doing that's true we can do anything if we put our minds to it. I had the windows key. Thankfully, it did not minimize. All right, livers, I need you to hurry up. All right, so what do I need for a fishing pole? I need more sticks. I don't have wood. There, do that. And we get this. Uh, let me have a look around. I'm sure there'll be some wood around here somewhere. Uh, it's hard to find. If you don't see it right away, you really got to look for it. <laughs> wow, there really isn't much loot in this bit of the valley. Anybody think somebody's already run through here? I, I seemed like that. Now here's the thing, though, because on my on, on the videos I was talking about morning loot and afternoon loot. So I totally mm. think that is a thing because there are just times in the day it where does like seem to be yeah because it's it's weird like in the beginning of the day there's loot everywhere and then there's like a time in the, the uh, normal like noonish where there just doesn't seem to be anything around it's it's yeah. maddening yeah it definitely does seem to be weighted if uh, if you notice as soon as the sun starts to go down what you might call the evening begins you do seem to get a new um, spawn you know like a um, 
almost like the game sort of says, oh, right, yeah, I've got to do that now. And suddenly, blam, 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 you see it everywhere. Uh, I'm just Ooh. sitting Bad here moved. waiting for my health to go back up for some silly reason. <laughs> Seem to be on half yeah, health. Well, it's very careless of you to lose all that health. <laughs> <laughs> I totally should have ducked. I didn't know if you were going for a headshot or what. I totally should have ducked that. That would have been I, awesome. I wouldn't have gone for a headshot, no. That would, that would have just been mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was just seeing if I could hit you at that range, because I was, like, <laughs> a very long way away. All right, well, that's enough health. I need one more rabbit. Get my shotgun going. I feel much safer. <laughs> it's oh. a shame, though, that we can't really team up until we have a BCU placed. So I can't see you on the map. I was hoping to be uh, able to... Uh, yeah, there's no... I think that arrow broke, but it does seem to have vanished. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the, the whole uh, teaming up thing is done through the BCU, so... Yeah, it's definitely a shame, because like, I would like to see where you are at now. I mean, not that I would, like, hunt you or shoot you while you're being chased or anything like yes, that. You <laughs> yes, you would. Yes, you would. You so no. would. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Probably should have kept some of my secrets safe in the first season. <laughs> right, so I'll just borrow this fire that somebody's conveniently left for me. Yep. Unfortunately, I distinguished it, but... Or ex extinguished... Yes, I uh, distinguished the fire for you. Yes. Hey, indeed. matches. All right, well, that'll be good That's for our okay. base a little later on. Yeah, get some of that cooking. Get some of that out. And... All right, I'm getting some grubs. I'd like to try and make a fishing pole, but I don't. I to get the health kits, get stamina booth kits going for us. And oh. uh, yeah, I can make a fishing pole. I think. Oh, hey, chicken. If needed. But yeah, I'm gonna go after try and go after some grub trees. Okay. I swear I hear a deer, but there's no deer around. Do you ever uh, hear that? Like a, a deer ooh. squeak noise? And you look around, there's just nothing I, no, around? No, I only ever hear the, the footsteps. I haven't heard any specific... Um, I mean, with a moose, you, you can always tell a moose, but uh, not, not a deer. Hmm. Huh. Maybe that... I don't know. I'll uh, turn that part hmm. up and see if I can't get that noise. So y'all can hear it and tell me what it is. So a loot bag has just appeared next to the campfire here, so I'm guessing the <laughs> evening spawn is upon us. Ah, very good. Okay. I'm going to run around and... Uh, let's see. For that, I need four of those. And that. Come on, rabbit. Cook. Cook quicker. Mm, I got Thank that. you. Sweet. Like ah, that. yes, and to change like the that. color of the glow stick. Uh, oh, yeah, there's, yeah, see, there's the horrible, loot. Horrible stick of annoyance. It used they're, to they're be. They're absolutely useless, aren't they? They don't, they don't project light in front of you. They just blind you. The, that used to be the case. The yellow one actually isn't too bad. Uh, the red one's interesting to play around with, but with the different colors, it definitely makes a difference. Now, it's not nearly as bad as just that blue one that was just <laughs> awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, I actually prefer not to use them, and then for the viewers, I turn the brightness up on the video, which makes a pretty poor job of it, but uh, it's better than trying to run around with that horrible bright light right in front of your face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I use the yellow one for the viewers at nighttime. I've tried turning up the uh, tint and the coloring and all that stuff, but it... it ah. It just looks gross. Oh, kidoki. 
right. right, so I'll grab that bit of ash and <clears throat> I take it you've headed down for our secret rendezvous. Yep, I'm just looking at all these animal containers and containers that have totally spawned in. I think we yep, uh, we know the secret of there. cold games. What, to always spawn them behind you? So well, like you, different times of the don't day. See and... anything. Yeah. So if you can get out and loot in the morning time, gather wood in the uh, noonish, and then loot again in the afternoon, I, that sounds like a total way to really make use of your time in this game. Yeah, th th there's a few little tricks like that. I've heard people comment that it's pointless fishing when it's raining um, because they, you just don't seem to get anything. But in actual fact, some of my best fishing times have been when it's raining. I think the difference is that it takes a long time to get a bite and people lose patience. So they reel it in and then they try again and then they reel it in. If you just have the patience and wait it out, um, you usually get bigger fish, in my experience, when it's raining. But you have to be patient. Well, that's another thing, is I never reel in the lure. Uh, okay, what are you doing, dude? Uh, you don't reel it in. I, I just hit the R button, like, quickly, the right mice button. And then that way, I'm able to Ooh. get... Oh, no, don't you... Another arrow. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Rabbit ran up towards the wolf. Um. Okay. I am close to our destination, which is surrounded in wolves. Yeah, I was... I heard you chop, oh. chopping wood a minute ago. Are you down by the pond, are you? Um, no, I'm a little further out. I just killed a deer. What? What's going on? Oh, you got the vanishing deer. Um, I don't know. I got to do this quickly, though, because we are definitely losing daylight, and I don't want to lose track of that deer. Ooh, thank you. No, I shot a deer. I has a level one with 80 health. I uh, headshot him. He was down to 10 health. And I started chasing him, and he turned around after, uh, in front of a bear. So then I totally lost track of him. And here, get the light out. I was like, okay. And then I turned around, and I saw him, and I killed him. And then I ran around the other way, and there was another level 1 deer with 10 health. But I one-shot at oh. the one deer that I killed. So did it, like, duplicate and spawn twice? <laughs> Who knows? Um, right, it is getting desperately dark. Yes. So I have made it to our destination. Okay, I'm on the way. And... Oh, and there's a builder crate waiting for me. That's beautiful. Very nice. Alright, I'm tracking the deer so I can kill him. Oh, man, he's twitchy. Yeah, we need... What do we need? Need one of those. Need one of those. I swear this um, deer no. is a ninja. I'm wondering whether we still get the grace period of no rain. We should do, really, shouldn't we? What? Where did he go? I'm hoping, like, uh, roughly two to three days. Did he despawn? Uh... Alright, that's oh, a bear. Uh, we're getting cold. Are you right, getting so cold I'm up gonna there? I'm going to place a foundation down there, because it's getting pretty dark. Okay, so... yeah, I'm heading up your way. I don't know where that deer ran off to. I think he's... Kind of... Struggling to see what I'm doing. Uh, let me, uh... Mm, that's gonna be 
tricky to line that up. How you doing, buddy? Hey. All right, I'm just making a fire. All right. I've got a fire starter. I know you've got a match, but... Um, um, then we're going to need... Yeah, I've got wood and stuff like that. Excellent. Um, okay, well, I've only got eight wood, so I'll, I'll, I'll just put two wood in there, and then I can make two more planks. Um, if you want to fill it up and put your match in. Okay. Under that, that. All right. So as you can see, though, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where we are, kind of on the map. Um, uh, how do I... Oh, that's right. right my... Oh, my gosh. Um, so down here is the southern lake. There's a little pond area right around in here. And if you've ever seen... Uh, I forget the YouTuber's name. My apologies. Oh, storage container. It's very, very handy. Uh, Michelangelo. Yeah, that's it. Michelangelo. My, my um, Michelangelo. Yeah. He has a cave yeah. thing uh, series going on, caveman series, over straight ahead. Um, so we're at that rock kind of pillar, uh, arch, arc. There we go. But, uh, do you need protein or anything? Um, I could eat a couple of chickens, but I'm okay at the moment. I'm still about 60%. So. Do you have protein? No. Okay, here you go. No, here I go. missed the rabbit. Here you go. The rabbit ran away. There's, uh... Yeah, thank you. Some delicious protein. Um, Okay, so I'm going to dump... Actually, I'll keep the nails and the few planks that I've got. Um, shall I? No, there's no point. Um, chuck all that in there. In there. In I there. like it when you chuck it in there. <laughs> in there. <laughs> oh, um, boy. So I'm keeping those, or those, or those. Um... Yeah, I'll keep hold of the kelp for now. So if you want to put your ancillary stuff in the crate, um, it'll amalgamate, and then we can see what we've got to work with. Okay. Uh, Did you know rabbits are actually better for you than chickens? I knew something about that, yeah. Yeah, if you look at the difference, um, it gives you max health plus 0 0.06 and 0 0.05 for a rabbit. It's 0 0.05 and 0 0.04 for a chicken. So you will increase your little health stamina bars much, much quicker eating rabbits than you will eating chickens. Yeah. Well, that is definitely... 20% quicker, I believe. All right, I'm going to take one of your sticks. So that gives me an even four, and I can make some arrows. It's weird yeah. how that worked out. Uh, okay, so pretty much everything in here now. Uh, stuff that I'm not going to really need, so there you go. All right, that's cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, so, I got yeah, two planks, planks I can put in there. 41 nails. Oh, right, okay. I'm just worried about the rain, but I think we get a grace period just the same. Uh, basically, in we'll get March and April, and it shouldn't rain. And then it probably rain, like, for 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, but yeah. hopefully we'll have got <laughs> some more building done by then. Yeah, that and some clothes, because <laughs> so, it's going to be brutal. Anyway, uh, the plan for this little series, or big series, or whatever it turns out to be, uh, we're going to build in this hollow on this arch here, uh, which puts us up nice and high. It's a long way to fall, so don't fall off the edge. Um, but it also means when the hunters are attacking, they've got one of two ends to choose from, depending on where their base is. So we don't have to worry about them flanking us so much. All we have to worry about is them coming head on. Now, I know there are a lot of trees around here, um, which is kind of a bit annoying because um, they're going to hide behind the trees. But we're kind of hoping that... Um, that won't be so much of a problem because if they're hiding behind a tree they can't really throw a grenade at us so they're going to have to step out to do that so i'm going to try and keep the building low using steps where necessary to sort of come down the slopes and to come up the slopes obviously the base will have to be a little bit bigger than this but uh, that's the general plan it won't be anything fantastic like the last one just a, a good safe location we hope anyway um we are going to try and do one episode per game day, and it is morning. So that means we need to wrap this episode up uh, so that we can get on with 
recording tomorrow, today. For you. <laughs> does that make sense? Does it, that make sense? It does, in, in a weird way. <laughs> it totally makes sense. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I hope it was uh, fun for you as well. Uh, we're just getting started. Hopefully things will come together a little bit quicker in the next couple of days. Well, they're, they're going to have to because don't you dare. <laughs> I will push you off the rock. <laughs> I really want to uh, do it. They're going to have to come together quickly because we, we literally have another eight game days before winter. True. So um, we've really got to get moving on this. So thank you very much for watching and... Uh, We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.